So we're going to talk now about the first circle theorem, which is uh, angled at the center of a circle. Okay, and what I said before in my previous video um, is that you really got to distinguish between are the lines going through the center of a circle or not. Okay, and uh, this one is through the center of a circle. Now, what is uh, what is going on? What is the circle theorem? If I have a radius, and so I'm talking about the center of a circle to the circumference, yeah, and I have another radius, let's say in that direction, it doesn't matter in which direction you go, yeah, but um, let's say over there. So those are two radii from the center of the circle. And then from this point, and that point, I draw two lines and they meet somewhere else on the circumference, for instance here, and this one then also will go there. Okay, so this is the typical situation, yeah? And what does this look like? It looks like an arrow. So whenever you see an arrow and you're looking, uh, or you're solving questions regarding circle theorems, yeah, then you are looking at angles at the center of a circle, okay? It looks like an arrow. And what does it say? It says, well, this angle then, yeah, which is created by the two radii, is going to be twice as large as this angle at the circumference. Okay, so that would be x. So if I have a radius and another radius, and from those two points of the circumference they meet somewhere else, then that angle is half the angle of the angle created by the two radii. Okay? Now, um, even if you don't believe me, let's go somewhere else. Let's do that in or with a blue color. Let's say from this point. It wouldn't go there, but it would go here, yeah, and also there. Nope. To the circumference here. Now I'm not going to take my protractor, but you just have to trust me, and perhaps you see it that this angle, yeah, is the same as that angle over there. Yeah, you can see it's both of them is what is at roughly 60 degrees. Yeah, but they're going to be exactly the same if you do it if you do it properly, even if they would go somewhere else. To the circumference, let's say there, Oppa. and there, yeah. And also, this angle is the same as that angle, same as that angle, okay, which is half the angle at yeah, or created by the two radii. So, you're looking for the arrow. So, again, very quickly, it is angles at the center of a circle, yeah. So, they have to go through the center. So, I'm talking about a radius and another radius. Okay, now that looks like an angle of 110 degrees. If they meet them, and this is the first circle theorem, somewhere else at the circumference, yeah, so I'm looking for the arrow, then this angle is going to be half that angle. As you can see, it is acute, half of 110 degrees, 55 degrees. Okay, now, um, the next video we're going to look at the angles in a semicircle, which is actually the same as this circle theorem, and I'm going to show you why. Okay, so please like and share this video if it was useful, and check my site explainingmaths.com for all the circle theorems and all my other resources uh, to help you to understand maths a little bit. Yeah. So I want to see you in the next video. We're going to talk about the angles in a semicircle. Bye bye.